Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Fanwood Back Relief Center, offering relief of your neck and back pain located in Fanwood, New Jersey. Today we're going to talk about nerve flossing and lower back pain. In your lower back, the main nerve that we're going to talk about today is the sciatic nerve. It's made up of five nerve roots that exit the spine in the lower back at levels L4 through S3 and merge into one nerve that runs through the buttocks and into the leg. At the back of the knee, the nerve divides into two nerves. We have the tibial and common perineal nerve, and this basically innervates the inner and outer leg, and lower leg and foot. When this nerve becomes compressed or pinched, a patient can feel pain in their back, in their buttocks, in their hip, down their leg. They could also experience numbness, tingling, and weakness along that whole path as well. The most common reason why this would occur, somebody under the age of 60, would be a disc herniation, where the disc spills out onto the nerve and creates a lot of inflammation on the nerve and compromises the way the nerve functions. If it's somebody over 60, most commonly it's what's called spinal stenosis. Now stenosis by definition means narrowing. So what happens is where the nerve passes through that nerve root, that hole gets small, smaller, it gets crowded by other substances, either you know, uh, disc bulging, um, degeneration of the bone, um, um, or, or the cartilage space in there becomes diminished. So um, this is te tends to be the problem where, where people will experience these types of problems when that nerve gets choked off. So one of the things that we do in our office um, is what's called nerve flossing. Um, it's something that I recommend to my patients, they can do it at home, uh, and it's a way of kind of flossing that nerve back and forth. Just like when you use dental floss, you move back and forth ac across your teeth and gums, and what you're doing is you're creating an action of kind of uh, loosening up or um, move, removing any debris between the teeth. Or, uh, with the nerve flossing for the lower back, what we're doing is we're actually tractioning that, that sciatic nerve. And the way to do that is, you, know, it's, you can do it seated or standing or laying down. And what you wanna do is you wanna extend your head into an extension position and at the same time, you're gonna bring your toes towards the ceiling. And what that's doing is actually pulling those, those nerve roots out of the hole where, the, where between the, the two bones and the disc is to kind of allow that to glide properly through that, through that hole there. Uh, and then similarly, what you wanna do is you wanna do the opposite. So we're gonna extend, put our, our chin to our chest and we're gonna bring, go up on our toes or bring our toes down, what we call plantar flex our feet. And what that does is if by going through that flexion extension position, we're removing that nerve um, in and out of where the hole is and we're flossing it. Okay. This is one way to relieve pressure on that sciatic nerve. Now, of course, if this is not working, um, then it's obviously really stuck there. There's a lot of inflammation where it needs more of a professional help and that's where we come in. But sometimes we can just relieve some of the tension at home or at work by doing this, this simple exercise of nerve flossing. And this can be done through various nerves across the body, but the most common what we see in our office is the sciatic nerve where it becomes pinched or irritated. And what it's going to do, it's going to lessen the tension on that nerve um, while also stretching the hamstrings um, that are typically tight in patients with lower back pain. Uh, very simple exercise, something you can do at home or at work if you are experiencing sciatic pain. Um, very simple concept to easily implement. But of course, if this is not working or you need more uh, professional or thorough treatment, just give us a call, shoot us a message, and we'd be happy to help you. That's all we have for today, guys. Hopefully you had a great uh, weekend. I had a, uh, an awesome weekend with my kids for Father's Day, and hopefully you had the same. And uh, let's have a great week. We'll talk to you next time.